I brought my agent to my show to main room. Oh yeah, how'd it go? I bought my dick off. Farting in regular yoga class, fine. Farting in hot yoga is... First of all, just want to touch on that. Not fine to fart in regular yoga class. Do you know how many shows I've done with people I didn't want to fucking see? I don't. A million? All of my bridesmaids are wearing potato sacks. I don't give a fuck. I wish I was worse when I drank so I'd stop. Boy, the dicks I've sucked for literally nothing. Ah, oh, here we go again. Welcome to Slab! Oh yeah. Welcome to Slobs. We're back. Happy New Year. Happy I'm, New oh, Year. Yeah. Steph is uh, already in New Year, New Me work mode. Uh, Are you working right now? What's happening? I have to send the audition to do right now. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> sorry. Hashtag grind. Listen, uh, I'm still hungover, presumably, from New Year's Eve. What's that little green thing? That's, I believe that's a vape. That's my vape. I'm I thought quitting it was a little dildo. In the new I was year. Like, can you not, we filmed this before the new dildo? year. Yeah, She's never quitting. <laughs> yeah, can you not have your vibrant on our uh, table? Hey, it looks like you have a problem with compulsive masturbation. I'm just going to call it out because we're, <laughs> we're doing the pod right now. You mind putting your bullet away, you sick fuck? Yeah, it's the new year. We're keeping each other accountable. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might. Laura's still crushing it in the Christmas gear. I love it. Listen. Yeah. Are you guys New Year's resolution people? Uh, I'll tell you what. First of all, Christmas in my family, you get to keep your shit up until Epiphany, which is, I believe, the Sunday after Christmas. Oh, my family, you keep your Christmas shit up until Eternity, which is you never take it down. Right. It's a but Mardi Gras. That's not a religious now. thing. That's kind of an alcohol. Yeah, that's it's a side effect of the of the alcohol. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, a little too much blood of Christ going on in my tired, house. Uh, that's right. A little too much blood. <laughs> blood of Christ. Got a little too into it at midnight mass, that's and now right. we just have a tree that lives in our house. That's right. I do a a whiteboard of my goals for the year. I you guess do? that's kind of my. That's your yes. vision board. That's my vision board for the year. It's kind of like my. I like yeah. that it's a whiteboard, so you can just. Yeah. Well, I crossed it out. So this year, I... I last, well, last year, 2022. Year, I crossed out majority. And I'm pretty fucking pumped because I had big goals on there. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling real good about that. So you I had, again. You had a fucking year. Is there anything you didn't cross we out? We should call this episode Big Goals, Big Holes. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I have big holes for this year. There's a couple of things I didn't cross out, but then a lot that I did. So I feel... And the ones that I didn't, I was like kind of like adding because I wanted to... Anything you want to say to manifest? You're keeping it all on the list private. No, I, w- I want a special. Want I want to film my own special this year and I want someone to want it. I don't want to put it on myself. And um, uh, I want to make uh, my I want to sell a show. Yeah, I love this. Yep. I'm going to say right now, I think that if you make your list of goals for the year and you accomplish every single one, that just makes me feel like when you ask for a certain amount of money and the person's just like, okay, I'm like, oh, well, oh I, I should have asked, asked for more. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, asked yeah, the yeah. universe yeah. for more. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So I think it's good if there's a couple things on the list because it nice. means that you aimed high. Yeah. Really I'm, high. Va- I'm quitting vaping. That's the main thing. It it's disgusting. Like it. I, I need to stop doing it. That's done. Yeah, sure. We're still drinking. I, guess what? We're drinking. Again. We'll be checking in every week to yeah. see if she's still vaping. I'm done the vaping. My heart's been hurting. Your heart? My chest has been hurting. Dude, yeah, it's, it's not good for you. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Well, I need to stop. I'm well aware. Oh, my Ta-ta. God. Ta-ta. Yeah, I'm quitting vaping, too. I don't vape. <laughs> you never vape in your life. I'm going to quit something. Sugar? I don't think I have any vices left. I'm sorry to say it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, are you still not snacking? I'm not snacking. God damn it. I haven't had a snack in a while. Yeah, I've been no. weighing and measuring everything I eat. Haven't eaten in a restaurant in like a month. Fuck. No, uh... No weird emotional vices? I don't know what those would be, but I feel like... Well, I, I've been... Um, I could turn to that. Trying to kick the phone, you know? I've been leaving it in the other room, and that helps. I notice mm-hmm. how my anxiety rises when I'm just, like, looking at it, because it's full of everything. You Hell, know? Mm-hmm. yeah. I just fucking hate it. I yeah. do think now that if, if someone's post comes up, and I go, oh, and I hate it, I immediately unfollow this person. I'm not even muting them anymore. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you post something that I really don't like... I don't you, need to see this. Yeah, it gives you a visceral reaction. And by the way, even even if it's my thing, like that's what I encourage everyone. Yeah, to unfollow like, me. I don't need you to. If you if you, if I post something that's annoying you, you're like, I hate seeing this. Get it out of there. Don't make yourself miserable. No, I have, I don't know. I have goals. I like that you mentioned emotional vices. I know that was a weird. I think a term. good New Year's resolution for me is going to be to stop taking other people's inventories and that's an impossible thing to do perfectly can you explain that a a little because that is sort of inside 12-step program so for people who don't know yeah what that means so um taking someone's inventory is like you did this that was bad 
it was selfish when you did that. You did that, and that was dishonest. It's just like pointing the finger at someone else's fault. Yeah. Okay. And instead, my goal is to look more at my part in my resentment, you know? Yeah. Um, and just like what I can do differently, how I can show up differently. So am I pissed that this person acted a certain way? Because I am trying to please them because I need because I have expectations of their behavior or because I'm a perfectionist, because usually it's like we expect of others what we expect of ourselves, which is insane. Yeah. And if I'm expecting perfection of myself, then I'm being mean to myself. And I'm also a lot more likely to be mean to other people. Yeah. It's unfair to expect other people to be perfect. We have to have like some slack. And I find that like the more gentleness I, ha- I have for myself, the more gentleness I have for other people. Mm. Dude, that's so real. And that's great yeah, that's to like, nice. to turn it to also like being more gentle to yourself as a way to stop having these like crazy expectations. I also found a thing I realized a while ago and I still see myself doing it, but the fact that I realized it has helped me slow down is like how labeling someone like in a relationship to you can make you just create these false expectations. Well, you're my best friend. And what I believe a best friend does is X, Y, Z. And like, okay, well, I'm just a human and I didn't see that you called. So what do you want from me? You know what I mean? Where it's like uh, these like false, yeah, just false perfection things. Like my boyfriend, you should always get it right. You should anticipate my sadness or whatever. Yeah. You know, and that's where a lot of my inventory taking comes in because Dave did leave an apple slice in a paper towel in my refrigerator and we got through it. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> but that's the kind of shit where I like I can handle a crisis better than anyone on this fucking planet. Like I can stay a real calm emergency, and cl- a real emergency. <laughs> I will hitchhike for another tire. I like I will figure it the fuck out. I will save people from a burning. Building. I will save people from a burning building without breaking a sweat somehow. But the apple slice, a minor inconvenience. I found a pomegranate peel in my freezer because my boyfriend has ADHD and I just need him to change. I just need him to change when those things happen. And so the challenge for me and like my goal is like, when that happens, zoom out, look at the big picture Mm -hmm. and realize that you have an amazing man who loves you, who shows up for you, Mm -hmm. who like, brings food and always tries to contribute and, and helps in with the, the dishes and takes out the trash and like, yeah. like he's amazing and then he leaves something in a paper towel and i'm like you have to be fucking with me yeah. right now. <laughs> you have to be fucking with me we had a full conversation about them i said there's an airtight container already of apple slices because since i measure my food it's like six ounces of apple so that is maybe an apple and one slice and yeah then there's a container for the other slices Um, First of all, he should have taken a snack out of that fucking container. I'll tell you that right now. (gasps) And secondly, this is so funny. I specifically was like, put it in the container that I have of loose apple slices. And then I opened the fridge yesterday and I find it fucking brown as hell. Yeah. Sitting there on a paper towel. Well, apples are the worst because they go brown. But I think there's a little bit to be said about acceptance here. As someone who's been mostly on the other side of that spectrum in relationships, let me tell you. He put it in the fridge and didn't leave it on the floor. And that is him meeting you in the middle. That is him going, well, I'm not going to leave it out. And that's about as good as it's probably going to get. Because uh, for ADHD, well, with my last relationship, yeah, my boyfriend had like meticulous ex-boyfriend. He thought he was OCD. And it's like, you're not even that crazy. I'm just ADHD. But my therapist when I was like, and he just gets like so upset because I haven't unpacked my suitcase yet. And there's like some stuff on the dresser and he's like, why can't you? And she's like, it seems to me that this is like, I don't know. It's hard when you're on the opposite ends of the spectrum on this, but like really the most change you're going to get is both trying to meet in the middle. Yeah. And, and this is like my therapist always says in any relationship, you're going to, this is like an Eddie Murphy quote, I think (laughs) is something. No, I mean, she has quoted it as, as that, you know, um, But it's something like in every relationship you have a foot up your ass, your job is to like find the smallest foot, like find the person with the smallest foot. Freddie Murphy, that foot is a... apple slice in the fridge, that is a tiny little foot, Yeah, you know? Like I can fucking live with that. And if I can't, that's a me problem. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's all... Because I can't expect him to be perfect. No, nobody. No one is. I think, yeah, no, I think I have emotional goals and more 
Mo- my biggest one, I think, is like catching when I'm triggered quicker. Yeah. Is like just immediately doing the things that I'm like, oh, I'm getting, I'm like getting too anxious about th- something that's small. Cause I'll just have like little things that I go like, it's the end of the world or they're leaving or they hate me or whatever. Yeah. And then, I mean, career stuff. I'm going to make a actual goals list by the, after this is recorded book, this is recorded before the new year. But like, I kind of just, my goal is a legitimate TV credit. Cause I don't actually have like a good, like solid, like late night or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like I just have, haven't gotten one that. And then I don't know, I would love to write or like sell a show, but we'll start with, start with start, start with, one. Yeah. Instead of just being like, I'm a pirate and I don't, I'm going to just, I don't need to be in town and try to be on TV. I'm going to go headline bowling alleys in the Midwest. I want to have a special and I have someone who wants to produce it, but not like a network for, or like a streaming service that wants to make it. And then I want to write that movie that I've talked to you guys about. Oh yeah. The idea is a secret, yeah. but it's going to be a top secret. secret society. It's a secret society of poetic justice. Um, Callback. Um, yeah, no, I think that's good. I like that you do the whiteboard. I'm thinking about doing like a whole corny vision board, but then it's like, maybe the whiteboard's better. Mm-hmm. Just having it out in front of you when you're working. You said vision board, and for some reason I pictured like the, <laughs> like ransom note style letters. Oh, that is 100% exactly what I meant, what I by like, the way. Yeah. Is that like old I'm, magazines cut up into a fucking collage? Yeah, I made, I haven't made one of those in probably seven years, but the last one I made, I lived in a studio apartment and there was no one, no, nowhere to put it, so I hung it up in my bathroom and I was like, well, this has to be the equivalent of shitting on your own dream. Yeah, that's like, literally this, These insane. aren't coming true. I'm not going to be on Conan staring at his face while I'm trying to pinch one out. Like, I cat sat for Craig Conan and um, he <laughs> he had a vision board and it was just so cute. Aww. He had it hanging on his wall. Dude, men with vision boards, I'm like, that is, I think that's emotional maturity. I dated mm-hmm. a guy once who whiteboarded, just had goals written out. And I was like, that's, that's great. Yeah. yeah. And I think having them, you see them, there is really, I mean, there's science behind it, but the subconscious of it, like planning in your head and you're like, oh, that's what I'm working toward. Cause like, I'll just write jokes with no direction all day or like half ass premises. If I'm not like, I want a new half hour. Mm-hmm. I want a solid or whatever. If I don't make the goal for myself, I'll just keep being like, here's another idea. And just going half in the bag and then moving on to something else. <laughs> I think I also need to, I, I, I feel like, I think it's different. We're all very gung ho, and because we're comedians and we're such hard workers, Zach is not as gung ho about stuff. And it's like it's hard when you're like crazy hard, workaholic. Cause it's like I'm nonstop. And then I'm like, "What are you doing today?" He's like, "Oh, you know, I might go to the gym." And I was like, "Is it? You got nothing? Nothing else on the old docket there?" And I'm like, "That's I need his it. apple slice." He's also here <laughs> in LA doing nothing right now. But like, I'm like, "He's here." He's here. Oh, uh, yeah, Hi, yeah, Zach. He's yeah, he's here. Um, but I'm like, <laughs> oh, I need well, to come down. He's on vacation. I know, but it's like I just feel like I need him to have a couple more it is- things in, in the mix here. Just because it feels like I'm like, I just feel crazy thinking of you not having like like every day I, I write to do less. I think we've talked about this before. I have I have the whole thing where I'm like I need this shit done. I'm like, so do you not have like? There's nothing you can do. Like, you don't have stuff. There's no stuff. Yeah, it's a It'd little be crazy. Yeah, no, I I feel that, and that's what like a thing I love about Nate is he's like he's like me, and that he's psychotic, comes up with too many ideas, is like too excited about things, and is and it's like you can't do yeah, it. Yeah, Nate is like you because uh, the other day when you texted me about March 27th, and I was like, I am in the middle of my holiday meltdown. I'm unavailable to make plans regarding March 27th because that's when our 50th anniversary. Or oh 50th, yeah, our 50th episode, 50th episode will be coming out. Will be coming uh. out. That same day, Nate, your boyfriend, texted Dave, my boyfriend, about going to a Dropkick Murphys concert on St. Patrick's Day. Flogging Molly on St. Patrick's Day. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How dare Patrick's you? Day, we will similar. be flogging Molly. And I was just like, yeah. he texted you with plans for March, and she texted me about plans for March within an hour. I'm like, what are they fucking <laughs> yeah. doing? No, They're just crazy. humping with both their fucking calendars yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nate sent me a picture of him. Uh, his work area yesterday and he had two laptops because he was like scrolling was that for a coincidence a... were you guys not together no we were not together that's oh my crazy. god no that's Jesus a wild Christ. coincidence we weren't talking about it at all that's just that's anytime insane. there's a music concert he goes well i gotta invite dave dave probably wants to come that's so funny yeah no we both... does want to go and dave's yeah. like so is that and i'm like you know i don't want to go to a fucking flogging molly oh, concert. Come on. And go March. yourself let me do my puzzle it's come with December. us get in a fist March. fight you'll get out some of that aggression 
punch someone in the mosh pit and pretend it's the apple slice in a towel. I, I will not go into a mosh pit between now and the day I die. No, Probably I mean, for the you're best. Done. You're done. I mean, you my ghost done. wouldn't be caught in a mosh pit. No, so after that, I'm well, still unavailable. Well, if you go to hell, that's probably I what it is. I also don't give a shit about St. Patrick's Day. I'm not going to get FOMO on St. Patrick's no, Day. No, it's the I'm worst I'm a recovering day. alcoholic. Yeah. I'm not I'm not like, well, I can't go out. No, it's a bad day. No. Drinking um, green non-alcoholic beer. I forgot to tell you guys a story. Uh, I opened for Bill in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Uh, and I brought his two brothers backstage and Zach. Wow, it was and, very generous. Yes, and that's Zach's, so nice. That's so, so Zach's nice of older brother, massive fan. He's the reason he got Zach and Bill Burr. The reason Zach, Zach got me, saw whatever. you. Yes. Yeah. So his younger brother's young. He's not even twenty-one. He's twenty. And he's like, you know, love Snapchat, all this shit. He's always posting, whatever. Oh, Snapchat. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'm like, I guess, I'm like, look, we got to say something to him. Be like, don't be a crazy backstage with Bill. Like, whatever. Be, be cool. He was cool. It's the older brother. Uh oh. We go right up to Bill. Bill comes right up to us and he goes, huh? Lot of gray in your beard there, eh, Bill? Are you kidding me? Are you me? out of your mind? And I'm he like, did not say immediately. That. And Bill even went, the fuck yeah it's called aging and i was like oh my god under the oh no i was like oh my god oh my god and zach i felt zach just like i felt him go what's going on what is happening and he's just like like staring his brother dead in the eyes like the stop like the stop doing it right now and i'm like okay and then he goes doubles down he goes you know you can put some dye in that (gasps) no and I'm like, oh my God. And then Zach's like, fucking stop, man. And then he's like, I'm going to vomit. No, it was, I, I'm not joking. I feel it was, physically ill. I, Laura it, almost knocked over the table. Jesus. It was so painful. <laughs> and then he literally, Bill is so fucking amazing. Like he's just, he deals with people so well. He just literally, he literally goes. That's a good idea. Oh, you're one of those guys, huh? He's uh, like, you're one of those guys with comedians. You think you're funny. Think you're funny. And he goes, oh, look at me. I'm wearing a fucking stupid vest. And then he's like, all right, get in a photo. Still offered the photo for them. And I was like taking it. And I'm like, I'm going to rip my eyes out. I'm going to rip my eyes out of my whole skull. Older. Like that my age. happened to him 800 times. Thank God Thank Bill Burr God. knows how to handle that. And he also knows it's Does not. Does he have a disease in it was... his brain? Is a worm eating its way from one ear to the other? No, there's it a lot of people. People and... panic when they meet celebs. Well, it, comedians... I think it's one of those moments where he's just like, my, my idol, what do I say? And then you say like, I will say when I know I, I'll insult him and then insult him more. Do you guys get this after show it sometimes where it's like the, the person's way of trying to connect with you is like they're a comedian. I'll like do a jab and it'll be funny. And it's like yeah. it won't be. It's not. And also that's what guys were always. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's we don't like that's we don't want you to just come up and insult us. No, no. That's what guys were always like with me on uh, dating apps when they found out I was a comedian. They'd, Immediately. They would be like, oh, I have a sense of humor. And they would just say something mean. And I'm like, yeah, that's not. Is- Oh, you can't. I would think a comedian could take a joke, but that's not. Oh, yeah. When someone's like, you're a fat pig. (laughs) I thought you were a comedian. You picked out a flaw of mine and pointed it out. That's not being sarcastic and it's not a joke. You're just being a dick to me. It's your bills. And I was like, it literally felt like I'm so embarrassed for you. I was so sorry. I mean, on your behalf. I'm so sorry. Thank God Bill is so cool and like likes me still, hopefully. But I was like, of course he does. This is. My, but it we, didn't it didn't help no no when we got in the car and zach was like i almost ripped my brother's throat out of his body i'm like i can't believe and we were like worried about the 20 year old and he was super cool he's like hello bill shook his hand and like nothing yeah chill. And i was like totally chill and I, I could tell he was like you know i was like when i met death from above sebastian backstage yeah. i did immediately tell him that i pissed myself and i was like ha, i peed everywhere ha ha pee pee pants pee-pee. but you didn't insult him no and no insulting I, you I, were I, telling him you were having a time yeah i danced so hard so i urinate people don't piss themselves when they're having a bad time at a show you were partying it was wild <laughs> unless it's like wild. my grandma at the theater oh no not but again it's not, it's not your grandma she's theater. dead it's a young yeah. woman in a mosh yeah. pit <laughs> yeah having the time of but her life I, I had to say guys because it was it was i knew you'd uh, understand how i felt coming out of that yeah that is i want to die yeah, yeah it was was to, to relieve myself. Thank of God I did the well. Can you came imagine I bombed before. after that? Oh, yeah. And then I went out and I just ate shit. Ate shit. And, and then it's like, like, oh, this fucking girl ruined it, like, fucks up the crowd. She brings this guy. I do want to express gratitude for you 100% confirming my thought that were I to ever be opening for a very big comedian and my family wanted to come backstage, I would not have them. My Maybe yeah, my, right. my immediate fa- No, no. I can't think of maybe my twin aunts. Not even. I. Every single person in my family would embarrass me. Your twin aunts. 
I me. had to give my dad a check. It's also like, because it's like, they're not my family, so I can't be like, fucking shut the fuck up. It's like, weird because your family, boyfriend's I was family. Like, I was like, listen, dad, I you're not doing I still would have said that to your boyfriend's brother. I said it to the younger one. I said, hey, don't be like, don't bring right. your phone out unless he like, said something. You didn't think you have like, to. I, I didn't think I have to the older brother. I was like, just, you know, I, I figured just be cool. Yeah. Be a human. It Which you don't think wild. needs to be said. I did not hey, think. Hey, be cool. His idol. Hey, don't insult him when you meet him. You also, would never think that you would have to say that. You're like, do you do that when you meet non-comedians in life? Do you just go like, hey, fat ass? Right. Like, but then after you? I exactly felt bad, he's like, was that, was that bad? And I was like, it wasn't great, man. And then I'm like, and then I couldn't fully deal with it at that time. Because I was like, I need to go I on I can't stage. comfort you. From the discomfort you feel from your own bad behavior before I go on stage at a fucking arena. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're going to have to just sit in that feeling and let it be there. I'm unavailable to help you yeah. with the oh, terrible God, thing was, you just did. This was... is this is a lesson in meditation. You just sit in that ugly feeling till it dissipates. Yeah, and it's yeah, not that... going away. It's still kind of there. I'm like, it's. I have never brought someone there. backstage at like when I. I mean. You've uh, no, with Rogan and yeah. yeah, no, it's no, I never brought anyone backstage. I'm well, it's, it's done now. I don't think I'll ever do it again. My sister, fine because my sister is cool, but that's we're done now. And Zach was also super cool, right? Zach was like normal and of like, of course, you wouldn't be him. fucking yeah. dating him if yeah. he would say something insane. No, he God. was just Can super chill. Yeah. yeah, we got to take a quick break here. Yeah, okay, we're then gonna we'll take... come back with slobs of the week, slobs of the, slobs week. of the year, slobs of the year, slobs of the year. We'll be back, we'll be back, and here we are, here we are, we're back, we're back. We're Bobs back. of the year. I feel like I'm tired today. I'm sorry. I, I have not enough coffee. I didn't not get enough sleep. I'm I feel really sleepy. tired too. I was excited to come today and I woke up at 6.34 in the morning. <laughs> Shit. I woke up at 7.02. There we go. There we go. Well, you know right what? We're getting me. our rest in before we really hit the grind on our resolutions and whatever. Yeah. Oh, I'll we're... go first for my slob because I think my slob is not as good as you guys because you guys have full articles. Mine was from, uh, it, I was in Vegas yeah. recently. It is... People in Vegas are gross. Just as people in Vegas just, are the just, slob just of the year. Just to say, like, in general, disgusting, disgust. Like, the amount of people I saw a girl fall over could not get up, like, on the ground for, like, a while in a casino. Yeah. It, so we're, I'm outside waiting for an oh. Uber in, like, the, the pickup area at the Paris Hotel. And this guy comes out on his phone. He's, like, just screaming nonsense. He's, like, they want, they're fucking IDing me. Fuck this. Going off. There's these two security guards that are just like standing there. They look over at him. He's like in their face. Like, what the fuck are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do? It's because I'm white. And they're like, what? Well, it's not because I'm white. Nothing. Nothing. nothing bad that's ever happened to you has been because you yeah, were white. Nothing. Yeah, so you he, fucking idiot. He's literally going off, like screaming, oh, what you going to fucking do? Nothing. Fucking nothing. And he's going back. He's on the phone. Not even on the phone. He's pretending to be on the he's phone. pretending to be on the phone. He looked also 16 years old, making a scene. He said, what you fucking going to do? Nothing. And then the security guard just picks up his thing and goes, code, whatever. And then all of a sudden, 10 security guards walk out. I've never seen this little pussy run faster in my life. He books it off the fucking property. And I was like, <laughs> it was just so, he was so embarrassed. Embarrassing. Like, could you imagine ever like just it was it was it was Don't pathetic. You hate that when someone makes you be embarrassed to be a part of the group, like I'm a like, society? oh, I'm humiliated to be a white woman because this person can't handle being on an airplane yes. right now. Those, yeah. Yeah. Those. Because you, oh. someone asked you to put a thin piece of paper over your nose. You're now fighting the flight attendant. Yeah. By the way, do you notice that white women in lines who always look to you to complain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i've noticed that where i'm, like, I'm like maybe no. i should write a bit about that if someone hasn't already i haven't heard it I haven't yeah heard that, where it's like you get it and they it's like oh yeah they always look to me i can't believe they just have one person working there yeah and then oh you, really you can't believe that <laughs> well apply because for a fucking job it's bitch. been in the yeah. news a lot yeah. that places are understaffed yeah so i don't know why you can't believe that there's a line in fucking December at Target. Yeah, yeah literally. The day before Maybe you Christmas. you need to manage your fucking yeah. expectations. I can't believe that you can't believe this. Yeah, there's yeah. a giant flag outside asking people there's to come work there. There's fucking three people in front of you, bitch. There's not, it's not even going to yeah. take very long. I can't believe that you're like this and didn't just get on fucking Amazon. Why if you have do a problem you think yeah. I'm going to understand that? You just assume that I'm a fucking entitled cunt too yeah. because I'm a white woman also? You're yeah, like, I do oh, that I know all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With. I'm like, like no. I like to just look at them and just be like, yeah. Yeah, you're like, just give them nothing back. Just. I no. do. I just look at my phone. I'm like, I can't even get involved here. in this I'm right now, but I'm like, no. Why are you such a bitch, Cheryl? 
Yeah. Death makes you. Oh God. I mean, everyone in Vegas is just the like. It's also, the whole thing was gross. Everyone was gross. Everyone's like so fucking drunk. Like the amount of people I just saw, like men in like ill-fitted suits with their ties off to the side, like slurring and like it's just. All this also like on Fremont Street. Oh. There was like this woman dressed as a nun, and her tits were out, <laughs> and she was pregnant, and I got really bummed out. Yeah. Like okay. I got like really, she was one of the I, picture people? Yes, she was a nun with her full cans out. That's gross. With X's and she was like really pregnant. You, are you sure that wasn't part of the costume? It was supposed to be like a funny no, pregnant. She nun. was like, I'm pregnant. That makes me think of and I got, uh, I got something sad. from a horror movie, which makes me think of Dave's night scream of the week. I feel like this should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dave <laughs> uh, Yes, it should. Woke me up because he was screaming in the night and he said, Are you laughing? He woke up because I was laughing because it's so over. <laughs> Because he screams like a girl in the it's night. so high. And also, like, his facial muscles are still asleep. So, like, the screaming is what opens his mouth. It's like, ah! But, like, he doesn't. <laughs> his face he, like, doesn't move. Uh, his little lips on me. He's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So I, <laughs> I was laughing and I was like, what, what did you dream? He gave me the longest description of this dream. Oh, God. To a point that halfway through, I was like, tell me the part that made you scream. I don't want to hear your whole... The setup. It's fucking four in the morning. Yeah, the I don't want to hear the whole thread well, that your I was weird in a brain car. followed to get to the shriek. What are you screaming about is my yes. question. Yeah. It was... <laughs> it was... There was like an an AI thing and it made a new Lara and half of me was black and like dead. And he was like, well, but you saved her, right? The person didn't even respond. That wasn't even the scary part of the dream. I'm like, that chills me to my bones. <laughs> you That's saw half scariest. of me dead. <laughs> yeah. And, and the person didn't tell you that the rest of me was saved and you didn't That was an okay answer. Yeah. You didn't need an answer. He was like, well, I assume they did. I was like, all right, well, it's your dream. So whatever. Well, you woke me up laughing. So we'll never know if you were saved in my dream. He saw the lady who smiled in the movie smile. We oh. watched that movie like, three weeks ago oh. and he's screaming in his sleep about it now that's what an imagination he said that moment. then she was like do you want to see your experience in the ai thing and he was like yeah sure and then it was that face oh that's a horrifying smell. what are, does he like eat before bed is there like yeah is it sugar yeah. is it he eats before bed yes, I, definitely. he should try stopping things he normally uh, does before bed and see if that makes a difference yes for his own fucking sanity yeah, that's yeah, wild literally. yes i do think this should be a segment also though. i don't think it's great for my sleep that he screams in the night no no it's definitely not and the poor cats that are already traumatized yeah they yeah oh. yeah 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 that's all they're having a nice little slumber then they're just shrill screaming you got to write all these down though not great for my neighbors no, no not no. great for my neighbors Doesn't sound good she already thinks you're crazy anyways because you Made that awful joke with the welcome sign on the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's that neighbor and then there's the bedroom wall share neighbors. Oh, yeah. And I know she can hear us because I can hear her little TV and her phone calls and oh, stuff. Man. Oh, man. And the shit. worst is she thinks you're fucking and making that noise. <laughs> she thinks when you fuck, you go. Ah, ah, ah. She's got to think that. He beats you. I'm killing him. I mean, yeah, she's yeah, got to. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. He's terrified. Not, you're just giving him night chokes. No, for <gasps> sure. She thinks that's your scream for sure. <laughs> no, she knows my scream. I don't know. Slob of the year is like not good enough for this. <laughs> slob of the year is going to be hard. For this story. I mean, the slob of the year, I think, is Kanye West, if we're going to like break things down, like to who's the worst. But the slob of the week this week for me, also a Reddit post. Someone just posted, my sister is wondering why she always is getting styes. And this is her sleep mask. It's the most disgusting photo we can't see this in it either of like the cameras can we rat shit on it by the way that i have like three sleep masks that are that same color and Ugh. stuff so i was feeling a little bit attacked by this yeah i have one too and i was like should i get rid of it just but i also on don't get styes and also i have a bunch of them and i so that i don't have one that looks like but that. you obviously wash your you can your wash your sleep before mask. you go to bed too like yeah, that, yeah. that person yeah, this is like makeup off before you're, I go you're to bed. this has crust on it it's disgusting yeah it's disgusting if anybody really wants to see it just dm us at slobs pod i'll find also, it for you what's with the but, knot i mean fucking spring for a new ten dollar yeah, does, does that person have a tiny head and they had to make it tighter <laughs> like, it just looks like it's, it's overused it's overstretched it's over it's like an old bra that you had from high school like, why they're not that expensive get another one they're like 
I just you can get them for super cheap. I have. I mean, I get a little bit nicer ones, but yeah, put some, a T-shirt on your eyes. Yeah, if that's what you're going to be using. Sometimes the solution is just wash it. I yeah. get Dave. I got Dave a sleep cap, a nightcap. Uh, like a like a little, little old person head gets cold. Oh my god! Does it have like a it little pom pom on the it? Tail. No, oh, I want they that. They make them just wear it, so it's basically like t shirt material, but for your head because it's not something like a beanie is like sweater material, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is too warm to sleep. And this in. is just a t shirt. This is just like a cotton. It's like t shirt material. So on his side of the bed, um, so my bedroom colors are like peach you've got it to match gray. your gray yeah and and his n- nightcap is gray and my sleep mask is peach and they both hang on it that's Isn't so that cute, cute. It makes me feel and weird. then he screams in his little nightcap and then he <gasps> screams i used to sleep in a bonnet in his little nightcap uh it was like silk and it's good for hair but also i had it was when i had purple hair so it would stain the pillow uh, but then uh dulce sloan stayed the night in my house before she lived in la she was visiting and she needed somewhere to crash and she's like this is not for you she's like this is for black women and she's like i'm taking this Cultural appropriation. like oh sorry i just didn't want to get my hair color on then she's like bitch put down a towel and then she opens your closet you have only do rags hanging there she's like, oh, <laughs> a bunch okay. of wigs and she's like well Ooh. you're gonna hate this yeah. part then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um oh laura has a great slob this week oh yeah so mine Oh, wait, will you go back up so I can read the headline? Man in wig throws cake at Mona Lisa in climate protest stunt. (laughs) And uh, the video is pretty crazy. Oh, there's a video? Yeah, would you go back up? I think you can just click that. Okay, we'll cut this part out of the audio, but we'll share the video on our... Yeah. Okay, now to a bizarre incident involving the world's most famous painting. This video is so funny. <laughs> That's the person. As a woman in a wheelchair. By the way, no one thought that guy was an old lady. Yeah. yeah, they thought he was a crazy person in a wheelchair. Also, there's a piece of glass over that, so he did nothing. Yeah, everyone knows that. Also, how is this helping climate change? You no. rubbing frosting on the Mona Lisa? I am I fail to see the connection. Yeah. What, what I think it is, because yeah, the there fuck? were two women who ran across the fucking field at the opening game of the NFL. Like, I don't remember if they were topless or they were just running and they got tackled. And they had these, like, fucking candles burning. They, they look like... <laughs> Uh, what are things on 4th of July? Not fireworks, sparklers. but sparklers. Oh. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, and I think it was also for climate change. And I guess the whole thing is like, you just cause enough of a scene to get an article. But it's like, yeah, no one's reading your points about climate change. You're just going, look at this idiot in a wig. Yeah, right. literally. And, and what, no one, that part, they were talking over him. No one saw or heard what he said. It's yeah. also like, that article makes me feel like, yeah. yeah he wasn't mic'd. We didn't no. have audio for him. He just also, went, rah, rah, rah. he didn't really try. It was a wig and a ball cap and some red lipstick. Like, yeah, cool. I'm like, no one thought you were an old woman. They thought you <laughs> yeah. were a crazy person. A mentally ill person in a, who maybe was like trying to look like Mona. Maybe they thought you were a big fan of Mona Lisa. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. also, shit like that just makes me like, yeah, you know what? Fuck climate change. Let the earth burn us to death. We've done enough. That's so funny. Like, let us all die. It's gone on. Too right. Long. If anything, it makes me care less about climate change. Yeah, it's like, I feel so bad for the earth. To do. Maybe sense. it is time for us to be extinct. Yeah, it's like, the earth is going to be fine. It's us who's going to suffer. Yeah. And at this point, shit like that makes me like, you know, we could, we could just go. We could just walk off the earth now. It's just, it's also, it wasn't it making sense. No, make any sense. frosting and the guy's wiping it off. Also, the guy wiping it off doesn't know how to wipe things off. Yeah, I know. He's like, oh, oh yeah, no. I was like, I what can't. is he using? It looks like a magic eraser. Well, yeah, it's also like <laughs> you're in the biggest. It's like one of those brown paper towels that yeah. is just like paper. Just Th- smearing it back and forth. This is the biggest con- like uh, museum filled with paintings. Like people with meticulous painting skills. You can't even get a guy who knows how to wipe yeah. in a fucking place filled with art. He's like. <laughs> I mean, it really highlights how great, uh, you know, painters are. That so this guy if that was wipe. in America, there'd be 900 security guards around that fucking painting. Oh, yeah. There's one. There's one. And it, it's if, in case someone goes rogue and tries to, like, fully take this it. This is the first time he's had to do anything. He woke he up like, from yeah. a nap. Ready to yeah. Wipe frosting he's off. Like, it wasn't Mona the old woman did. in the wheelchair, was it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Also, you could have done you think all of that. I got in trouble. The, the security guard? Like, you're supposed to Stop guard people. the Mona Lisa. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. How'd you let a guy with a piece of cake get through? But also, oh, so yeah, was it a tub also, of why'd you let a guy with a cake in? Yeah. He probably well, he was like probably like holding it under his under thing, his little but also old lady pussy. Yeah, yeah, but also he could have could have done all of that without a wig on. He didn't what need the wig. The wig? The also, seems... it wasn't an old lady wig. It yeah. was a no. black bob. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah. like, um, it was like a Betty Boop bob. Yeah, it was really it was like a Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. I was just yeah. gonna say Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, it was it was strange. Yeah. And now you made me want to buy a GMC truck. We're, what is this one? Uh, an iguana causes a, a huge power outage in Florida. No. That's so funny. A giant iguana went into a substation? Yeah. In the, uh, what, like inside the power company? Yeah, that's pretty sloppy. That's, or he, that's there pretty was also one This I is how you about... change, affect climate change. Yeah, that. Be an right iguana, there, turn off the lights. That's right. That, uh, that actually is way this was more, way more effective you know yes how much power this little guy saved that's right that's right fuck you guys that's also how does that even make any sense it's uh, just wide open like how did this guy how did an iguana roam in there i mean he probably is like a little one I mean, it's probably one of those things where they're not really constantly monitored it's just like if there's an outage, some fucking city of Lake Worth guy goes there. He's like, oh, fix it. And this guy was probably just, just wandering big around. Yeah, it's fucking iguana. I used to have a crush on, on an iguana. Sitting on this switch. What? I'm sorry. Can you pull up, John? Can you pull up the show Under the Umbrella Tree? It's a very Canadian reference, but it was my first crush as a kid. A cartoon iguana? It's not a cartoon. It's like a little puppet. Um, but it was, uh, you'll see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get the images up there. Uh, Iggy the iguana. I had a crush on him. There he is. There's the little guy. You I don't know sick. why. I'm what? sick in the head. Yeah, it was very you strange. Had, he kind of looks like Zach. I see it. You had a <laughs> crush on that? This I had a crush on that little way. The if, chip if you're one's Canadian, hot. the chipmunks Gloria. She's a girl. And this the, is lamb chop for Canadians. Yes, and it was like we'd all go under the tree and she'd read like stories and stuff. But it was very bizarre. Wait, when was this out? Yeah, 80s. So this is fucking 80s? old as hell. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that Sherry. Whatever her name is, ripped off Lamb Chop from these people. Nine, 87 and 93. Dude, right in the 90s is when Lamb Chop came out. Three animals, three puppets. I never got into Lamb she Chop. She ripped puppy off. and Lamb Chop, and then there was another one. She, 92. She did. <gasps> Sherry, Sherry Lewis. Sherry Lewis. Yeah, there was Hush Puppy, and then there was like a rabbity. Yes, and the donkey thing. Yes. Oh, my what gosh. Was, what was it? Charlie Horse. Charlie Horse. It was, <gasps> I was like, it's a, it's a pun. I'm upset. Sherry Lewis, how could you do do this? I guess we we do. We got to get out of here. Uh, Listen, we got to get out of here. Uh, Really quick, uh, if you don't, if you follow Slobs on Instagram, if you don't follow them, if you do, Uh, yeah, at at Slobs Pod, uh, message us and let me know if you guys used to sing that uh, Lamb Chop's underwear song from the Fruit of the Loom commercials in a circle with your friends in second grade, or if that was just me in Mississippi. Yeah. Also, do you guys have dates to plug? (laughs) Laura yes. just threw up in her mouth. Yeah, I threw up in my mouth and then got kind of put on the spot here. Do you guys have? Yes, January. I'm in uh, Milwaukee again, Milwaukee. 11th I know your to dates. 13th. And then there's other stuff. And I'm I fucked up. My giant nose just hit the mic and I didn't know it was there. <laughs> I have other stuff. Vancouver, the 24th, 25th, Seattle, 26th of February. And um, yeah, go to her website. Helium. Yeah, go to my website. Uh, yeah. I'm in Sacramento at some point. Oh, yeah, oh. June 27th. I'm Sacramento. One night. Actually, it was Craig Conan. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Go headlining something out there. Crust uh, Theater. <laughs> I thought you said Crust Theater. Um, I'll be in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Dr. Grin's January 12th through the 14th. And then I am in New Smyrna Beach, February 3rd and 4th at Madcaps Comedy Club. I'll be with Laura at Grand Comedy Club in Escondido, February 11th through the 12th. Or 11th and 12th. 10th, 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th. You're right. And also, I'm coming to Seattle way in uh, September. Not September. Jesus. April, but tickets are up on my website, jmscomedy.com slash shows. Uh, I'll be at the Phoenix House of Comedy January 5th through the 8th. I will be in Zany's Chicago, Old Town, January uh, 27th and 28th and 29th. And then we got the Escondido one. And then the rest is uh, TBD. Yeah. TBD. Come see us. Let us know where you want to see us. Follow the podcast. Uh, email your slob stories to slobspod at gmail.com and leave us a rating and a review wherever you're listening to this. Bye. 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 Follow the podcast at slobspod. Follow me at Lara Bites. Follow me at Steph Tolev. Follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy. <laughs>